Riding with my girl beside me, I'm as happy as can be. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Lego Insiders Weekend and Black Friday is always a good time to buy the sets you've had on your wish list for a while. And it also allows you to pick up what is arguably this year's best gift with purchase. I'm Joe, and this is my review of the LEGO gift set number 40699, Retro Record Player. The one downside is the fact that this set had a pretty hefty purchase threshold of $250, $220 or 250 euros, and unfortunately this set is now another great argument for releasing some gifts with purchases as retail sets. But with that aside, I must say the box art is quite nice. The thinner font for the details to the left is elegant, and the gift icon top right, along with a limited edition strip running all around the bottom, differentiates it from retail sets. The product shot in the center is crisp and clear, and the back of the box gives us another good shot of the player in its closed position, along with some, but not all, of the play features. Opening up the box, we find four numbered plastic bags, along with an additional bag for the transparent curved panels. We also get three loose black base plates and a small standard instruction booklet. It took me a very relaxed 45 minutes to complete the build, and it was surprisingly engaging, with some really cool pieces. We start off by building the base along with some very colorful internal components. Next we add in some gears for the main play feature, as well as an odd arrangement of grey tiles before adding in some loose switches. Bag 3 focuses on the dust cover that utilizes all the clear pieces included in the set. And finally we end off by adding all of the final touches to the vinyl top before building the vinyl disc that utilizes some basic but good studs not on top techniques. And once you're done building, you should end up with these extra pieces. Now onto the set. The completed build is made up of 310 pieces and when closed the set measures over 4 cm high, 6 cm wide and 12 cm deep. It also has an appropriate age rating of 12 and up. To me, the finished build is very good looking, even if scale-wise it's quite small compared to the real thing. The curved dust cover works well to give it that retro look, and while I love getting all these trans clear pieces, it is unfortunate how scratched up they get in the box. There's a very simple hinge system that allows you to easily open and close the cover, and while it does stay up on its own, the little support to the right is a nice touch. The back also includes some nice detail by way of these red, white and grey Technic pins, which represent the right and left speaker inputs, as well as the power supply. And a special mention also goes to the four large round vibration dampening feet at the bottom. Using a black tiled border for the edge of the player was a good move, and I love the inclusion of the colorful logo to the left that also lines up nicely with the tiles on the lid. And the grey tiling also does a very good job at making all of the included elements stand out. To the left we get a sliding on off switch that I wish had some sort of click feedback, and to the right we get our main controls that includes another slider to control the speed, with very colorful trans round pieces next to it. There's also a great printed volume knob that can be turned as you see fit. The needle build is pretty good, and of course we can swivel to play the record, but it can also be placed back into position with this antenna piece. The record is quite a bit thicker compared to an actual vinyl, but I totally forgive the LEGO brick limitations, and the overall shaping is great for the scale. I also love the fact that the swirly designs in the middle are printed on the tiles. It's crazy to me that a gift set gets more printed pieces than the Star Wars 18 Plus sets. The record is fixed in place onto those splat gears, and by turning the grey gear at the back you can simulate the spinning record. Sort of. It's not as smooth as the real thing, but I still like the swirly effect it creates in the middle. So I really, really like this set. As a fan of all things retro and an owner of an actual vinyl player, it's really nice to have a smaller replica for my shelf. It's just a shame that this set has been walled off behind such a steep price threshold. I honestly think that if LEGO sold this as an actual set, maybe increasing the size and adding a sound brick like it did with the amazing retro radio set, that it would actually do pretty well. But for now, I guess we have to enjoy it for what it is. Anyways, let me know what you think about this set, and please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you like this review and what we do. And as always, thanks for watching.